hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can fill and submit your tax info on your google adsense account guys it's of utmost important that you fill and submit your tax info on google adsense imagine losing 30 percent of your revenue or your earning from your youtube channel or website let's say for instance you made hundred dollars thirty dollars will be deducted from your hundred dollars earning just because you failed to fill and submit your tax info on your google adsense account this is how much you'll be losing if you fail to fill and submit your tax info on your Google AdSense after monetizing your YouTube channel or your website. To buttress more on the importance of submitting your tax info, if you don't submit your tax info, by the time you'll be receiving your monthly payment into your bank account or by the time you'll be receiving your paycheck, Google must have deducted 30% of your monthly earning as tax for the US government. And to avoid this huge deduction from your earnings, you have to fill and submit your tax info in Google AdSense. And if you're a citizen of a country that has a tax treaty with the US government, you will most likely be taxed lesser or even exempted. The percentage of tax will be reduced if you're from a country that has a tax treaty with the US government. The tax is meant to be applied to earnings coming only from the United States, that means the US. If you don't submit your tax info, all your earnings will be assumed to be coming from the United States and all of them will be taxed. And that doesn't sound good because it's not possible for all your views or all your earnings to be coming from the United States. Of course, some of your views will be coming from other countries other than the United States. Views will be coming from different continents, Africa, South America, North America, and the rest of it. So to avoid 30% tax to be deducted from the earnings coming from other countries other than the United States, you have to fill and submit your tax info here in Google AdSense. So guys, let me use this opportunity to show you guys how you can find or know how much you're earning from the United States and other countries of the world. So guys, what you have to do right away is to first of all go over to your YouTube studio. So let me go over to my YouTube studio right away. So guys, to log into my YouTube studio, first of all, I'll go over to my browser. Whichever browser that you want to use will work out fine, be it Opera Mini, be it Phonix. So guys, I'm using Chrome browser for this tutorial. What I have to set for now is studio.youtube.com. So guys, let me type it in so I'll log into my YouTube studio. Studio. So guys can see it there so let me tap on enter so guys, so guys now you can see i'm on the home page of my youtube studio so guys let me go ahead now to show you guys how you can find the earning that you make from united states alone and also from other countries so guys for you to do that all you have to do now is to tap on the analytics icon you can see it there on the left hand side let me zoom in so you see it clearly let me zoom in and let me zoom in again so guys can see the analytic icon there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys, after tapping on the analytics icon, the next step they have to take now is to tap on where it is written, advanced mode. You can see there on the right hand side, the arrow is pointing at it. Let me zoom in so you see it clearly. So guys can see it there, so let me tap on it. So guys, now the next step they have to take now is to tap on where it is written, geography. You can see it there, the arrow is pointing at it. Let me zoom in so you see it clearly. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in again. So guys can see the geography so let me tap on it you can see the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on the plus icon there you can see there at the middle of the screen you can see that the arrow is pointing at it let me zoom in so you see it clearly let me zoom in so guys can see the plus icon there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it okay. so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on where it is written estimated revenue you can see it there let me zoom in so you see it clearly so guys can see it there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now this is where you're going to find all the earnings you've been making from different countries as you can see there united states is actually topping the chart here let me zoom in so you see it clearly let me zoom in let me zoom in again so guys now you can see from the united states i've made 42.73 dollars why from nigeria which is the second country and the second highest country have made 13.91 dollars so guys now here is the importance of actually filling and submitting your tax info if you don't submit your tax info in google adsense 30 percent of your total earning will be deducted as tax to the u.s government you can see the total amount that i've made 93.6 dollars so 30 percent will be reduced from that 93.67 dollars if i don't submit my tax info but if I submit my tax info, 30% will only be deducted from the amount that I earned from the United States alone. And as you can see there, I've made just $42.73 from the United States. 
so 30 percent will be reducted from that 42.73 dollars as tax to the u.s government so instead of them to deduct 30 percent from your total earning which is 93.67 it's better they deduct 30 percent as tax just from the united states earning alone so guys now let me go ahead now to show you guys how you can actually impute fill and submit your tax info on google adsense so guys first of all you have to sign into your google adsense and for you to do that what you have to do right away now is to search for adsense.google.com so guys let me search for it right away adsense.google.com let me type it in right away so you guys can see it there so let me tap on enter so guys now the next step to take to get me signed into my google adsense account is to tap on the three horizontal bar at the top left corner you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now the next step and the final step to get me signed into my google adsense account is to tap on where it is written sign in you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it Guys, now so guys now you can see i'm on the home page of my google adsense account normally you're going to see a notification there at the top of the home page of your google adsense account you can see there it is written important check if additional tax information is required from you all youtube creator and partner are required to submit tax information to ensure any applicable taxes on your payments are accurate so guys let me zoom in so you see it clearly let me zoom in and let me take it down so guys can see there that's the notification you can see it you can see it so guys now for you to actually begin the process of submitting your tax info what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written manage info you can see it there you can see the manage info just tap on manage info but guys i'm not going to follow this method to show you guys how you can submit your tax info because not everyone will be able to see this notification at the top of their home page so guys not everyone will see this notification so guys now let me show you guys the normal way you should follow and not this shortcut for you to do that what you have to do right away now is to tap on the three horizontal bar at the top left corner you can see there let me zoom in so you see it clearly let me zoom in again so guys now you can see the three horizontal bar clearly so let me tap on it so guys now the next step that you have to take now is to tap on payments you can see that that's the second option the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now the next step that you have to take now is to tap on where it is written payments info you can see there the arrow is pointing at it that's the first option under the payment so let me tap on it yeah, yeah. so guys now under the payments info what you have to do now is to scroll upwards to the bottom of the page so let me scroll upwards now to the bottom let me keep scrolling so guys what you have to do right away now is to tap on where it is written manage settings you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it yeah, yeah. so guys what you have to do now is to scroll downwards to where you find payment profile so let me scroll upwards so guys now under the payment profile you're going to see where it is written united states tax info you can see there the arrow is pointing at it what you have to do right away now is to tap on that edit icon you can see that pen icon next to the united states tax info you can see that the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on the pen icon let me tap on it right away so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on where it is written manage tax info you can see there written in blue the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on where it is written add tax info you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see what is written here before you start so guys what you have to do now is to take your time to read through all of this if you have the time just read through all of this i'm not going to read through it because i don't want this video to be too long so what i have to do now is to tap on where it is written start form you can see down below the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it right away so guys so guys right here you're going to be required to impute the password of your gmail address of your google account to make sure that you actually own the google account the google account that you use in creating the google access account they want to be sure that you're actually the owner so guys now for you to verify that gmail address or verify that google access account what you have to do now is to type in the password of your google account so guys let me type it in right away so guys can see i've typed it in and it's signing me in so guys now you can see what is written here united states tax info to find the right tax form please answer a few questions so guys can see the first question there what type of account so guys now you can see we have two options here the first one is individual the second one is non-individual slash entity so guys for an individual what you have to do now is to tap on the first option if you're actually creating it for a business or maybe an organization or an entity what you have to do is to choose the second one but since this is an individual account so let me tap on the first option which is individual you can see where the arrow is pointing at individual so let me tap on it 
then the next step to take now is to tap on next you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it to go back to the next question so guys now you can see the next question they say are you a citizen or resident of the united states so guys if you're from the united states what you have to do now is to tap on the first option which is yes but if you're not from the united states go for the second option which is no guys i'm from nigeria so i'm going to be choosing the second option which is no so let me tap on it right away then let me go ahead now to tap on next you can see the arrow pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see the next step the action us to select w8 tax form type based on your previously selected answer a w8 form is needed so guys can see here you have two options the first one is w8 ben while the second one is w8 bci so guys what you have to do now is to choose the first option if you're a non-us individual or if you're a non-us business entity or organization what you have to do is to choose the second one but since i'm a non-us individual let me tap on it let me tap on w8 ben so guys let me go ahead now to tap on it then what i have to do right away now is to tap on where it is written start w8 ben form you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see we are over to the next step you can see right here this is the w8 ben tax form you can see what is written here be sure this information is exactly the same as on your tax document and that the form is signed by an authorized representative of this legal entity so guys what you have to do right here under this tax identity is to go ahead now to impute your name and also impute your country that's all you have to do under this tax identity so guys can see my name has been automatically added there what is left for me is to choose my country or region and for me to do that i have to tap on where the arrow is pointing at so let me tap on it you can see there country slash region so let me tap on it then what i have to do right away now is to search for my country let me look for nigeria right away so guys can see nigeria right there so let me tap on nigeria you can see that the arrow is pointing at it so what you have to do is to look for your own country so let me tap on nigeria so guys now you can see my name is there and nigeria is there so what i have to do now is to scroll downwards so guys now you can see here they are asking us to impute our foreign tin as you can see there is optional and over to the next one they are asking us to impute our us itin or ssn as you can see there as well is also optional so i'm going to be leaving that blank so guys what you have to do right away is to tap on where it is written next you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it yeah, yeah. so guys what you have to do right here now is to impute your address you have to impute your street address you have to impute your apps your suburb your city your postal code and your state of residence so guys let me go ahead now to do that right away so guys i've added my address as you can see here they're asking us to also add our mailing address so guys what you have to do now is to go ahead to add your mailing address but if your mailing address is the same as your permanent resident address what you have to do now is to check that box there you can see that box there what you have to do is to check it so guys let me tap on it since my mailing address is the same as my permanent residence address so let me tick it let me check the box so guys after ticking that box now what i have to do now is to tap on next you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it question down so guys now you can see here is the next step you can see what is written there tax treaty you can see the notification down there as well it is written nigeria and the us does not have a tax treaty so guys what they are asking you here is does your country has a tax treaty with the us government if your country has a tax treaty with the us government what do you have to do is to tap on yes you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it but if your country does not have a tax treaty with the US, what they have to do is to choose the first option no. So guys, let me tap on yes to show you guys what it's going to look like. Let me So guys, now you can see immediately I tapped on yes, they're asking me to choose my country. You can see there. So let me tap on where it is raising country. So guys, now you can see here are the countries that have a tax treaty with the US government. You can see here there is no Nigeria here. Nigeria does not have a tax treaty with the US government. That's why we can't find Nigeria right here. So guys, now let me go back now and choose no since my country is Nigeria and we don't have a tax treaty with the US government. So let me tap on no. So guys, in the US. So guys, now you can see the next section which is written activities and services performed in us you can see what is written there has the individual identified in the tax identity section performed any activity and services for google within us so guys if you have performed any activity within us for google what you have to do now is to tap on yes but if you haven't performed any activity or services for google in the united states what you have to do is to tap on no so guys now let me tap on the second option which is no since i've not performed any activity or services for google in the united states so guys let me go ahead now to tap on no so guys after 
So guys, what you have to do next now is to tap on that box there. You can see that unchecked box. What you have to do now is to tap on it to check the box. So guys, let me tap on it. So Once guys, after checking it, that box, what you have to do now is to tap on next. You can see down Once below. Once you tap on it, you are seeing exit. So let me tap on service. it. What? So guys, now you can see the next step. Tax reporting. You can see what is written there. US tax document delivery preferences. So guys, now what you have to do now is to choose between these two options, which one you prefer. You can see the first option, which is go paperless. You can see it's recommended. Receive your tax documents electronically instead of by mail. Going paperless can help you protect your personal information. So you guys can see the second option, get documents by mail. So guys, now I will prefer the first option, which is go paperless because I don't want my tax information to be mailed to me to the post office because most of these post office, they normally have issues. The tax information might get lost or some issues. So I don't want any issue to go with my tax document. So I want to go paperless so that I will receive my tax document electronically, maybe to my Gmail or to my gmail address so guys now you can see it has been automatically selected you can see go paperless has been automatically selected so guys what you have to do right away now is to tap on next but before i continue in case you want to receive your tax document by mail in case you want to receive it just the way you received your pin your google pin from the post office in your area what you have to do is to go ahead to choose the second option which is get documents by mail you can still get it you can still receive the document in as much as the address of the post office that you imputed actually receives standard mail so guys what you have to do now is to check that box there you can see the arrow pointing at it to accept the paperless delivery agreement so guys let me check it right away so guys now what you have to do now is to tap on next you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see here's the next step document preview this is how your documents will be generated based on your provided information. So guys, what you have to do now is to check that box there which is written, I confirm that I have reviewed the generated tax documents to the best of my knowledge and I believe they are true, correct and complete. So guys, what you have to do now is to tap on the box. So let me check the box right away. So guys, after checking the box, what you have to do now is to scroll upwards. So let me scroll. And the next step to take now is to tap on next. So let me tap on next below. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see here's the last and final step. You can see there, certify and sign. So guys, what you have to do now is to check that box there. So let me check the box there. That's a tax form certification. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, after checking it, what you have to do now is to scroll upwards to the base. Let me scroll upwards. Let me scroll. So guys, the next step now is to sign your signature. You can see what is written there. Do you confirm you are the beneficial owner named in the tax identity section of the tax form? beneficial owner name you can see my name there so what you have to do now is to tap on the first option which is written yes i am the beneficial owner named in the tax identity section so guys let me tap on the first option so guys after that what you have to do now is to scroll upwards to the base so guys now here's the final step that you have to take now you can see where it's written submit the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it right away see so guys now you can see it's loading let's just wait for a few seconds then our tax info will be submitted let's just wait a while Wow guys, you can see our tax info has been accepted. You can see what is written there. Your tax info has been accepted. You can see. Let me scroll upwards. You can see status approved. Submitted February 7th, 2024. You can see my name. You can see when it's going to expire. December 31st, 2027. So guys, now this is how you can actually fill and submit your tax info on Google AdSense. And I believe I've actually done justice on this. So guys, I've actually come to the end of this video and I believe you got value from this. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe and leave a comment. And also, if you're new to our YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the bell notification so that whenever I release new videos like this, you're gonna get notified. See you in the next upload. Bye-bye. Peace.